pedaling Jaya with one victory and a tight third, T3, placing a TPC Kuala Lumpur. India's golf star Anirban Lahiri is back for the US $7 million, RM 29.63 million, Sim Classic for the sixth time from October 12 to 15. In this Q&A, the President's Cup international team member talks about his love for the event and venue plus an insight into his recent 2016-17 PGA Tour campaign. Q, how much are you looking forward to the Sim Classic at a venue? where you've got a great track record. A, I'm super excited obviously. There was that disappointment last year on Sunday, where he led into the last round and finished T3, but there were a lot of positives too, like holding my first 54-hole lead on the PGA Tour. I certainly have a lot of good memories as I won there before, 2015 Malaysian Open on the Asian European Tour. I feel right at home at TPC Kuala Lumpur and the Sim Classic feels like a good event for me, and I get a lot of fantastic support. It'll be a lovely homecoming, and hopefully I'll be able to go the distance this time. Q, have you been pleased with your 2016-17 PGA Tour season, and how much of a high was it to get the phone call from Nick Price as the captain's pick for the President's Cup? A, the season honestly was a mixed bag, I had four good weeks and a lot of bad performances as well. It's the most cuts I've missed in the last five years. That wasn't good, but I also had some top fives and top tens. All in all, I finished 51st on the FedEx Cup standings which was a decent effort. I'd like to be there at the Tour Championship, but I guess it's one step at a time. I've made progress, and I'm comfortable out here on the PGA Tour. The golf courses are not as unfamiliar as they were in my rookie season and I've made a lot of progress from that aspect. But I feel like I've underperformed. I feel I should have contended more. That's something which I'd like to change, I'd like to contend more and get that first win under the belt. It's a great way to start in Asia, on familiar ground. It's something you'll find me coming back every year to play the Sim Classic for sure as it's one of my favorite events. It's a good way to start the new season. And then we have the new tournament in Jeju Island as well, CJ Cup at Nine Bridges. The PGA Tour is the most competitive tour in the world. You need your A-game to win. As for the President's Cup call, it was a really nice surprise to get the call from Nick. Prior to that, all the top international players like Adam, Scott, Jason, Day, Brandon, Grace, were rallying me to play well saying stuff like come on, you can do it which was really nice to hear. And I was glad to respond with a top 10 at the BMW Championship that same week. Q, what is it about TPCKL that you enjoy and produce some of your best golf? A, I've played so many tournaments there, from the days of the Malaysian Open to Sim Classic. I don't think there's a hole where I've not made birdie on that course. You can draw on that. I know how to navigate the course. You know where you can be aggressive and cautious on. I've played in every weather condition and played when rough is high or low, greens are soft or hard. It'll make it easy for me to process my strategy. That's the advantage the PGA Tour pros have on the US courses. So this is an event which I feel I have an advantage compared to the other events that I play in the US. Q, how do you compare the Anurban of 2017 versus the Anurban of 2015, and what has been the key difference? A, 2015 feels like a long time ago now, laughter, because I've grown a lot. I turned 30 this year, so I'm no longer the young sensation. I'm truly a veteran now being a pro for 10 years. I've had to adapt, learn a lot and change my game to better suit myself out here on the PGA Tour. What I haven't done was to win twice which I did in 2015. That's my priority, to win. I've been winless the past year and a half. I've got four more events this year to do it. With the Asian Tour top 10 players getting into the Sim Classic, how does this impact the development of players in golf in Asia? I think it's huge. When I played as an Asian Tour member, I played with Patrick Perez and Tim Clark one year and I remember they were a bit impressed with the way I played as they haven't seen me previously. 
we had a chat and they thought I could definitely play on the PGA Tour and said I was better than the average player on tour. When you have those moments, you get that affirmation from the best guys in the world and they give you the confidence to believe in yourself. Today, we play day in, day out and we're playing at the same level. So unless you put yourself against that level and compete against them, you won't know what are the possibilities. The Sim Classic gives opportunities to the Asian Tour players. If they work hard, play a bit better, they can get through to the PGA Tour.